Hi guys, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Terraria 1.3 Rangers loadout, which includes the best weapons, the best armour, and the best accessories. We're going to start with the best weapons, and I have gone for the Unreal Space Dolphin Machine Gun, because it does insanely accurate damage, which is very high against monsters. The Unreal Phantasm, which is capable of firing up to 4 arrows at once, and it does insane single target DPS if it has high HP, which we will see later on in the video. The Unreal Vortex Beta, which does very high damage at close range, and it also has homing missiles, which lock onto the enemy. And we're also going to include the Ruthless Stardust Dragon Staff for a bit of extra additional damage. Moving on to the armor, you want the Vortex Armor as it provides very high defense and very high ranged and critical strike chance. You can also double tap down, which makes you go into stealth mode, which makes enemies less likely to attack you, which is a very nice feature. Firstly, I'm going to talk about 10 or 11 accessories, as there's a lot of customization involved in the ultimate setup. For example, some people don't like wings, and they prefer to do more damage instead, so I'm going to talk about some alternatives to help everyone decide what their favourite set is. If you want to have a lot of damage, go for the Menacing modifier, and if you want a lot of defense, go for the Warding modifier, but I've gone for Menacing because I prefer to do more damage. So firstly we have the Destroyer Emblem because it does plus 10% increased damage and 8% increased critical strike chance. It's a very high damage emblem and I think it's essential for any 1.3 loadout. Next we have the Sniper Scope because of the very high damage and critical strike chance it does. Once again, I think this is an essential item. Next we have the Magic Quiver, which increases damage by 10% and greatly increases arrow speed. So if you're using a weapon like the Phantasm, then this accessory is absolutely essential. The Solar Wings for maneuverability, so you can dodge attacks and move across the world very easily. The Ankh Shield, which provides immunity to knockback and most debuffs. And finally, in the Expert Mode slot, I've gone ahead and put the Worm Scarf in it because in expert mode you tend to die quite a lot and the 17% damage reduction is a great help. Now I'm going to quickly talk about the alternatives for people that don't like using certain items. If you're going to be using a gun instead of a bow, so if you're going to be using the Space Dolphin Machine Gun or the Vortex Beater, then swap out the Magic Quiver for the Ranger Emblem. As with guns, you don't get the increased arrow damage, so it's not worth using. If you don't like using wings and you prefer to use mounts, such as the Cosmic Car Key, then simply swap it out for either the Ranger Emblem, and if that's already in use, then use the Celestial Emblem instead. Once again, if you prefer damage over knockback and debuff prevention, you can simply get the Avenger Emblem and swap it for the Ank Shield. And once again the Worm Scarf, if you prefer damage over defense then use either the Ranger Emblem and if that's Tuck use the Celestial Shell and if that's Tuck use the Avenger Emblem. It's unlikely that all three of these will be taken as you will probably be using either the Ankh Shield or the Solar Wings. And finally if you very much prefer maneuverability you can also use the Frostback Boots instead. But with that being said I don't really recommend using Frostback Boots as you can already maneuver very well using the solar wings. So there you have it guys, the ultimate Terraria 1.3 setup. This is my favorite setup here. And of course you swap these two accessories around depending on whether you're using the Phantasm, which is the magic quiver and the guns, the Ranger emblem. So let's take a look at this loadout against some monsters so we can see it's DPS. So we've got the kills on the destroyer to show their DPS. Here is the Space Dolphin Machine Gun, kills it in about 1 second. Here is the Vortex Beater, kills it in about 5 seconds. But that's still amazing damage per second. And here is the Phantasm against the destroyer, which once again causes very high damage per second. Something like 30 to 40,000. All three weapons fare extremely well in the Celestial event. They have no problems killing the monsters at all. And here is the Phantasm against the Solar Pillar. And as you can see, it kills it in about one second. Here's the Space Dolphin Machine Gun in the Celestial event. It kills everything with ease and it also kills the Nebula Pillar in a couple seconds. 
And here are the weapons in effect at the start of the Moon Lord fight. As you can see, the Space Dolphin machine gun destroys one of his hands in a matter of seconds, which is so effective against the Moon Lord. I then swap to the Vortex Beater to try and damage his main eye and his right eye, which does a fair amount of damage. And finally, I swap to the Phantasm, which does very high damage against the hand and kills it in a matter of seconds. I hope you enjoyed this quick 1.3 ultimate loadout video. Like I said, there's a bit of personalization, but I think you guys will be happy with this loadout. Be sure to like the video, favorite and subscribe for more awesome 1.3 videos. And thank you very much for watching.